BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter 66. Isaiah, chapter 66. Isaiah, 66. The longer you worship, the more the Lord poured out a word into my heart. Today is a very special day to the Lord. We're going to be doing something in heaven. All who get there are going to be doing what we're going to read. So if you would read Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 22 to the end. Would you read that, Rabbi Yes. Porque como los cielos en esa Yes, Yahoo, uh, 66, verse 22 to the end. hasta el final. Porque como los cielos nuevos y la y la nueva tierra que yo hago permanecerán delante de mí, dice Jehová, así permanecerá vuestra descendencia y vuestro nombre. Y de mes en mes, y de día de reposo, en día de reposo, vendrán todas, todos a adorar delante de mí, dijo Jehová. Y saldrán y verán los cadáveres de los hombres que se rebelaron contra mí, porque su gusano nunca morirá, ni su fuego se apagará, y serán abominables a todo hombre. Amén. Siéntense, por favor. Por favor. Today is a special day on God's calendar. We see in the book of Isaiah, when Jehovah makes the new heaven and the new earth, there are two things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be celebrating the Shabbat, and something most of the body does not do. They don't celebrate the Rosh Kodesh. And what is the Rosh Kodesh? That's when you see the new moon for the first time. Now I didn't know this when God planned this journey. But as the sun goes down today, in Bogota, Colombia. Today is that day. Today is the Rosh Kodesh. That God wants to raise you up. He wants to raise you up into a congregation. That serves Him in spirit and in truth. Que lo sirve en y so he chooses the eleventh month. So él el mes the day that is time of the winter. 
el día que es el tiempo de, de, de invierno. That there are no holy days coming. Que no hay días festivos. Except for the Rosh Kodesh. Excepto por el, la luna nueva, el Rosh Kodesh. So here today he brings this group together. So aquí vemos este día, él trajo este grupo. But as we spoke today, Ruben. Pero así como hablamos hoy día, Pastor Ruben. Something spoke to my heart. Algo habló a mi corazón. And you had a long journey. Y tú tuviste una, un caminar largo. A journey looking for the truth. Un caminar buscando en busca de la verdad. As your beautiful wife Luz told me about her family. Como tu hermosa esposa me dijo acerca de tu familia. Tracing coming to here during the Inquisition. Como es lo que llegaron aquí durante la, Inquis la Inquisición. There has been a long journey for this family. Ha sido una larga jornada para esta familia. If you would turn to the Gospel of Luke. Si miramos al Evangelio de Lucas. The Luke chapter 24. Lucas capítulo 24. There is an event that occurs in Luke 24. Es un evento que, que ocurre en Lucas 24. And we're going to read Luke 24. Vamos a ver. It's going to read it. Lucas 24. Verse. Versículo. Twelve. Uh, no, thirteen to thirty-two. Del trece al treinta y dos. Lucas veinticuatro, versículo trece al treinta y dos. Dice la palabra de Dios. Aquel mismo día, dos de los discípulos iban a una aldea llamada Emmaus, que estaban como 11 kilómetros de Jerusalén. Conversaban entre sí acerca de todas estas cosas que habían acontecido. Y mientras conversaban y discutían, Yeshua mismo se acercó y caminaba con ellos, pero sus ojos estaban velados porque no lo conocieron. Él les dijo, ¿qué discusiones o palabras son estas que tienen entre ustedes mientras van andando? Y ellos le se detuvieron con semblante triste. Uno de ellos, llamado Cleofás, le dijo, ¿Eres tú el único visitante de Jerusalén que no sabe las cosas que en ella han acontecido en estos días? ¿Qué cosas? les preguntó Yeshua. Y ellos le dijeron, las referentes a Yeshua de Nazaret, que fue un profeta poderoso en obra y una palabra delante de Dios y de todo pueblo, y como los principales principales sacerdotes y nuestros gobernantes lo entregaron a sentencia de muerte y lo crucificaron. Pero nosotros esperábamos, esperábamos que él era el que iba a redimir a Israel. Además de todo esto, este es el tercer día desde que estas cosas acontecieron. Y también algunas mujeres de, de entre nosotros nos asombramos, pues cuando fueron de madrugada al sepulcro, y al no hallar su cuerpo, vinieron diciendo que también habían visto una aparición de ángeles que decían que él vivía. Algunos de ellos que estaban con nosotros fueron al sepulcro, al sepulcro y lo hallaron tal como también las mujeres habían dicho, pero a él no lo vieron. Entonces Yeshua les dijo, oh insensatos, 32, eh? 32. oh insensatos, y tardos de corazón para creer todo lo que los profetas han dicho. No era necesario que Yeshua padeciera todas estas cosas y entrara en su gloria, comenzando por Moisés y, con, y continuando con todos los profetas, les explicó lo referente a él en todas las escrituras. Se acercaron, se acercaron a la aldea a donde iban e hizo como iba mejor, más lejos. Y ellos... Le insistieron diciendo, quédate con nosotros porque está atardeciendo y el día ya ha declinado. Y entró, y entró a quedarse con ellos. Al sentarse a la mesa con ellos, Yeshua tomó el pan y lo bendijo. Partiéndolo, les dijo. Entonces les fueron abiertos los ojos y lo reconocieron. Pero él desapareció de la presencia de ellos. Y se dijeron el uno al otro, no 
ardía nuestro corazón dentro de nosotros mientras nos hablaba en el camino cuando nos abría las escrituras amén many times we take the long road muchas veces tomamos el camino largo we know that there's truth out there sabemos que hay verdad afuera and people can speak to us truth y la gente puede hablarnos la verdad but sometimes we don't see it muchas veces no lo vemos until it vanishes away from us y hasta que se aleja de nosotros these two men had been with, this, with Yeshua the Messiah estos dos hombres estaban con Yeshua el Mesías they had seen miracles ellos vieron uh, milagros they had seen many great and marvelous things ellos vieron grandezas y maravillosas cosas de él but sometimes Pero muchas veces, it takes losing everything toma el perder todo. to gain the world. Para, para ganar la palabra. You went from place to place. Fuiste de lugar en lugar. And each time they wanted to raise you up. En, muchas de las veces ellos quisieron levantarte. And you did your job. Y tú hiciste el trabajo. But there was still something missing. Pero había algo que, que no, no todavía estaba, faltaba ahí. So then you came upon Beth Goin. So así tú llegaste a Beth Goin. And you started to get your eyes opened. Y empe se empezó a abrir tus ojos. Your heart burned tu corazón ardía. hearing the truth for the first time. Cuando escuchabas la verdad por primera vez. You were on your road to Emmaus. Tú estabas en esa ruta a Emmaus. And together we are on that road to Emmaus. Y todos juntos estamos en esa ruta a Emmaus. Mother said that she had to stay with you. La madre dijo que ella tenía que estar contigo. She had to leave where she was to come walk with God's anointed. Because you knew the truth. Tú la you were willing to leave where you were tú a dejar donde estabas to follow the righteous path. Para seguir la verdad. We walked around this area today. Caminamos por esta área hoy día. We saw many churches. Vimos muchas iglesias. That will not be there in heaven. Because in heaven, we're going to celebrate the Sabbath. And in heaven, we're going to celebrate the new moon. And they don't celebrate either one of those. They have not walked on their road to Emmaus. But today the Lord is bringing something that has been in the making for 2,700 years. That God had a plan. But He needed a man willing to leave everything else behind leave friends behind leave family behind leave his car behind <laughs> leave a job behind willing to walk with Messiah as Messiah opened up his eyes he was willing to separate his family for God's purposes as he said as for me and my house we're going to serve the Lord and that's what the road to Emmaus is about these men were walking away from Jerusalem. But God, with His infinite mercy, with His infinite mercy, wanted to call them back. He was willing to walk beside them. And show them the word. We need a person here in Bogota, in Colombia, that is willing to show people the way, the truth, and the life.
Let us turn to Isaiah 60. Vamos a Isaías 60. Isaiah 60. Capítulo 60. Pastor Ruben, would you please read verse 1 through 4? Pastor Ruben, ¿podrías por favor leer Isaías 60, capítulo 1 al 4? <coughs> Levántate y resplandece porque ha venido tu luz, y la gloria de Jehová ha nacido sobre ti. Porque he aquí que tinieblas cubrían la tierra y oscuridad de las naciones, mas sobre ti amanecerá Jehová, y sobre ti será vista su gloria, y andarán las naciones a tu luz y los reyes al resplandor de tu, de tu nacimiento. Alza tus ojos alrededor y mira, todos estos se han juntado. Vinieron a ti, tus hijos vendrán de lejos, y tus hijas serán llevadas en brazos. Amén. Amén. Arise, or we'll say that in Hebrew. Kumi ori kivat ubret uvod adonai alaya zarak. Arise and shine, for your light is come. Como se dice en hebreo. David lo dijo y dice, levántate porque tu luz ha llegado. The light has come to this area. La luz ha venido a esta área. The light of truth. La, la luz de verdad. On the Rosh Kodesh. En este Rosh Kodesh. Something new is started this day. Algo nuevo empieza este día. Something is being born. Algo ha nacido. People will come to the light. La gente vendrá a la luz. People are looking for real truth. La gente está buscando por la verdad. It is not just you in Colombia. No es solo tú en Colombia. Beth Goyim hears from people all around the globe. Beth Goyim escucha por, a, a todo el mundo. Looking for biblical truth. Están buscando, eh, viene gente en busca de verdad. And the Lord is birthing something here today. Y el Señor está haciendo nacer algo hoy día because there is a, a thick darkness that is covering the world porque era una oscuridad bien bien densa al descubrir este mundo it says in verse 2 como dice en el versículo 2 it said that in verse 2 dice en el versículo 2 but the lord doesn't want that pero el señor no quiere esto he's saying i'm bringing the light el señor dice yo traigo la luz Today, y hoy día, this light has truly come esta luz to Bogota, Colombia. Ha a Bogota, Colombia. <clears throat> this has come from Israel, esta viene de Israel to America, a America to come here to Colombia. Y ha aquí a Colombia. words which were given to my people estas palabras que fue dada a mi gente 3000 years ago today 3000 años atrás hoy día has come to this home ha llegado a esta casa the torah of god la torah de dios the torah that god wrote himself la torah que el señor nos escribió por sí mismo that god wanted to bring to your your country que el Señor quiso traer aquí a tu país. Something that he wants to birth today. Algo que él quiso que nazca hoy día. Something loses family lost years ago. Algo que la familia lo perdió muchos años atrás. 
when they ran for their lives from Portugal and Spain to come to this world. In, contained in these words, is the light of the world. Contained in these words, are blessings that are amazing. Hay, encuentras bendiciones que son asombrosas. Blessings of happiness. Bendiciones de, de alegría. Blessings of family. Bendiciones de familia. Blessings of prosperity. Bendiciones de prosperidad. But also contained in these words. Pero también contiene. That if you don't follow these words. Que si no sigues estas palabras. Contain great curses. También tiene bendiciones. Curses that are happening throughout the world. Que han por todo el mundo. But today, Pero hoy día, on the Rosh Kodesh, en el Rosh Kodesh, the Lord has shown mercy. El Señor ha There's an account in the scriptures hay, hay, en where Abraham was speaking to Jehovah. Donde Abraham hablaba con Jehovah. Before they were about to destroy Saddam and Amor. Antes que Saddam y Amor fueran destruidos. And he said to the righteous Lord, y, y le dijo al Señor Justo, he said, dijo, if there were 50 in the city, si es que hay 50 en la ciudad, would you destroy the city? Destruirías la ciudad. And Jehovah said no. Y Jehovah dijo, no. And he said, may I, may I be so bold to speak to you again, Jehovah? Y le dijo, Señor, puedo, puedo pedirte algo más. He said, if there were 40, in the city, would you destroy the city? He said, no, I would not destroy the city. He worked all the way down to 10 people. He said, if there were 10 more, would you destroy the city? And Jehovah said, no. The Lord is looking for ten El Señor está buscando por los diez. to believe that this is still true today. Yeshua read from one of these himself. Yeshua leyó de uno de estos por sí mismo. Today I give it to you. Hoy día te doy a ti. That you would teach the people. Que tú vas a enseñar a la gente. That you would teach them the truth. Que tú vas a enseñar la verdad. The living word of God. La verdad de Dios. That is a light unto our feet. Que es la luz en nuestros pies. That you would teach this flock and all that would come. <coughs> que tú enseñará, enseñarás a toda esta comunidad. That these are not bad. Que esto no es malo. This is what is good. Esto es bueno. Contained in these words, Contien, estas palabras, it teaches us how to be husbands. Nos enseña cómo ser esposos. It teaches us how to be fathers. Co nos enseña cómo ser padres. It teaches us how to be sons of the living God. Nos enseña cómo ser hijos del Dios viviente. Contained in this Torah, en esta Torah contiene, teaches us how to be daughters. Nos enseña cómo ser hijas. How to be wives. Como ser esposas. How to be daughters of the living God. Como ser hijas del Dios viviente. So anybody who says that these are bad. So cualquiera que diga que esto es malo. It's just somebody who's satanic. Es simplemente alguien que es satánico. The Lord wrote these words himself. El Señor escribió estas palabras por sí mismo. Contained in this is the Ten Commandments. Con, aquí contiene los diez mandamientos. Found in the book of Shemot, Exodus. Encontramos en el libro de Exodus. That the Lord Himself wrote. Que el Señor mismo lo escribió. With His own finger. Con su propio dedo. And today He puts His finger on Bogota, Colombia. Y hoy día él pone su dedo en Bogotá, Colombia. To see if He would find ten people. Tú para ver si encuentra esas diez personas. To save the land. Para salvar la tierra. Today the light comes to you. Hoy día la luz. Ha venido aquí. And I present that to you. Y lo presento ante ti. From my family. De mi familia. To your family. 
para tu familia. Because as it says in Romans 11, como dice en Romanos 11, we are one family. Somos una familia. We are grafted in together into the olive tree. Somos injertados juntos en el árbol de olivo. As long as we follow the Lord in spirit and in truth. Mientras sigamos al Señor en espíritu y verdad. In the book of Isaiah chapter 49. En el libro de Isaías capítulo 49. Verse 6. Versículo 6. The Lord said el Señor to us. Dice, el Señor nos dice. If you would read that, Reuben. That's your Reuben. 49 verse 6. Capítulo 49 versículo 6. Dice. Poco es para mí que tú seas mi siervo para levantar las tribus de Jacob y para que restaures el remanente de Israel. También te di por luz de las naciones para que seas mi salvación hasta lo postrero de la tierra. Almost 3,000 years, Bogotá has waited for this. Hace 3,000 años atrás, Bogotá estaba esperando por esto. And I ask your forgiveness. Y te pido perdón. That the Jewish people did not do this sooner. God says, is it too small a thing that you would bring my Yeshua? That's what the, when you see the word salvation in your Bible there, in the Hebrew it says Yeshua. That I would bring Yeshua to the Goyim, the nations. Que yo traeré Yeshua aquí a los Goines, a las naciones. That the light would come from this place. Que la luz saldrá de este lugar. That we would show the people the way to live their lives. Que enseñaremos a la gente la, la manera de vivir. That they, would, that they would see that there is something different about us. Que ellos miren lo, la diferencia acerca de nosotros. Not just as if we wear these funny little strings. No solo porque... Uh, estas cosas, hilos chistosos. Not that we have beards. No, porque tenemos barba. Not that our women cover our their heads. No, solo porque las mujeres se cubren su pelo. But that we live our lives differently. Para hacer notar que nosotros vivimos nuestras vidas diferentes. That going was born. To be a light to the nations. Para hacer la luz a las naciones. And today, as we give. You this scroll. Y hoy día, como te entregamos el, el rollo, God asks of you, Pastor Ruben. El Señor te pregunta, Pastor Ruben, Will you love me? Tú me amas. Remember, Yeshua came back after being crucified. Recuerda que Yeshua regresó después de haber sido crucificado. And Kepha and the other Talmudim were fishing. Y Kepha, el otro Talmudim, estaban pescando. What were the three questions he asked them? He, he said to Kepha, Do you love me? And Kepha replied, I love you, Lord. So today he's asking you, Do you love him? If you do, say amen. Amen. He asked the second time to Kepha. Me pregunta por segunda vez a Kepha. Do you love me? Me amas. Kepha says. Kepha responde. Yes, Lord, I love you. Sí, señor, yo te amo. And feed my lambs. Alimenta a mis ovejas. Yeshua asked the third time. Yeshua le preguntó por tercera vez. Do you love me? Me amas. Kepha. Kepha. He says, Lord, you know all things. Reuben, do you love him? And feed his lambs. Reuben, do you love him? And feed the sheep. Reuben. Reuben. Do you love him? Lo amas. Yes. And feed his lambs. There's a way to feed the lambs. Hay una manera de alimentar 
You have to feed them with that word. We believe in the whole Bible. But if you don't understand the beginning, turn to Matthew 28. Mateo 28, versículo 26, al final. Mateo 28, 16, versículo 26, al final. Hasta el final. To the end. Sorry, I got it wrong. Getting my tenses wrong, sorry. <laughs> Want to read? Pastor Ruben, would you read it, please? Okay. Versículo 16. Pero los once discípulos se fueron a Galilea, al monte de donde Yeshua les había ordenado. Y cuando le vieron, le adoraron, pero algunos dudaban. Y Yeshua se acercó y les habló diciendo, Toda potestad me es dada en el cielo y en la tierra. Por tanto, id y hacen discípulos a todas las naciones, bautizándolos en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo, enseñándoles que guarden todas las cosas que os he mandado, He aquí, yo estoy con vosotros todos los días hasta el fin del mundo. Amén. Amén. Ruben, the Lord wants you to make students of all the nations that would come here. Ruben, do you love Yeshua? Ruben, do you love Yeshua with all your heart? Mind, soul, and strength. Amen. Ruben, would you give your life for Yeshua? Today, this is being fulfilled in your sight. We're going to move on to the next part of the service now. We're going to consecrate Pastor Ruben. And we're going to follow Scripture. To what we're supposed to do here. We're going to consecrate Pastor Ruben into a messianic pastor. We're going to follow what it says in the Word of God as to how things are supposed to be done. Ruben has been in training for a couple of years now. And we're going to consecrate him the way that Aaron was consecrated. Because without it, the congregation has no foundation. And it has to have a foundation. If you were turning your Bibles to Exodus 29, well, it's going to be up on the screen for you. Jacob. No, it's Isaac. Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. Read that, please. Nice and loud. Huh? What is it? Amen. 
In the book of Exodus, in the book of Shemot, chapter 29, there is a step-by-step -step process Hay paso a paso, un proceso, that has to be done que debe ser, for Reuben to really be a leader. Para, para Reuben, que en sea un leader. Much of the church does not do this de las iglesias no hacen esto. because they don't follow the Bible. Ellos no siguen la Biblia. They follow man-made ways. But Beth Goim stands for the Word of God. Pero Beth Goim se para fuerte en la palabra de Dios. We are not ashamed of the Word of God. Nos avergonzamos de la palabra de Dios. We agree with the Word of God. Nosotros estamos de acuerdo con la palabra de Dios. From Genesis to the Book of Revelation. Desde Génesis hasta el libro de Apocalipsis. In verses. 1 through 3 Would you like to read it again? Esto es lo que les harás para consagrarlos, para que sean mis sacerdotes. Toma un becerro de la vacada y dos carneros en perfecto, y, y pan en silla de adura, y tortas en levadura amasadas con aceite, y hojaldres en levadura untadas con aceite, las alas de, de flor de harina de trigo. Y las pondrás en un canastillo, y el canastillo las ofrecerás. Y en el canastillo las ofrecerás con el becerro y los dos carneros. Amén. We're going to take a look at each part of that. Vamos a mirar cada parte de esto. And what God means ¿Qué es lo que el Señor when we do this offering. What it means. ¿Qué significa cuando hagamos esta, esta ofrenda? Why would God ask for these things? ¿Por qué el Señor uh, pide que hagamos esto? Well, in verse 1, en el versículo 1 decimos, we see that we're supposed to offer some part of a bull. Vemos que se tiene que, que ofrendar una parte de, de un novillo. Well, why did God want a bull instead of an elephant? ¿Por qué el Señor quiere un novillo en vez de un elefante? Why not want an elephant? ¿Por qué no un elefante? Yo know, big <laughs> Yeah, why well, that would you know, be good to offer, right? Well, one an elephant's not kosher. But why would he want the bull? As you see up there on the slide, <laughs> the bull the bull means something that is breaking away. And today this group of people, specifically Reuben, breaks away from the church. He breaks away from those Sunday worshiping people to do what is right in God's sight. So the bull means that you're going to be breaking forth away from the world so, aquí el todo significa que tú vas a romper todo eh, a, en contra del mundo. To leading this flock of people. Para llevar a este grupo de personas. Why would then God ask for a ram? ¿Por qué el Señor pre, uh, pidió un cordero? Un the cordero. ram signifies el carnero significa a pillar. Un pilar. A pillar. What is a pillar? ¿Qué es un pilar? See, when, once you put a foundation down of a home, you need to put the pillars up that you see. Because if you don't put them up first, then the house is going to fall down. So this is what the Lord asked for first. Then he asked for, in verse 2, three different Types of matzah. Tres tipos diferentes de matzah. And at the end of the consecration, y al final de la consagración, we are going to offer all this up to the Lord. Vamos a ofrecer todo esto hacia el Señor. And you will be witnesses of something that's three thousand years old. Y tú vas a ser testigo de algo que se hizo tres mil años atrás. Because God says we need witnesses. Porque el Señor dice necesitamos testigos. And right now. The world is witnessing this. Because we're streaming your consecration to the world. That little thing right there on top of the refrigerator is streaming this consecration 
so that the world will know that we still do these things. In verse 2 we see something very interesting. Three types of matzah. Why would God want three types of matzah? What purpose? So we have matzah pan sin levedura. Tortas de matzah. Oblas de matzah. Obleas. Obleas, sorry, wrong syllable. <laughs> what do they mean? Well, the first matzah reminds us that we leave Egypt. So in Egypt we were under bondage of man. So we want to remember that we were in bondage to God. Never forget, Reuben, who your master is. Your master is Yeshua. And his father. So we were going to offer this up today. Because when you're offering it up, and you're watching this, that means you're agreeing with Reuben. So, eso significa que ustedes están uh, de acuerdo con Rubén. That our, who our master is. Y también de quién es nuestro maestro. And if you don't agree with this, y si no estás de acuerdo con esto, then you shouldn't be here. Pues no deberías estar aquí. Because this is for God's people. Porque esto es para la gente de Dios. That's going straight forward with God's word. El goín se para derecho en, con la palabra de Dios. There's a psalm that says, Hine matovo manayin, shevet achim gam yahad. Iran con bueno delicioso es habitar los hermanos juntos. Hay un salmo que dice así: Mira con bueno y delicioso es habitar los hermanos juntos. You have to sing it in your head, did you? <laughs> we want to be together as one heart. Debemos estar juntos como un corazón. As the disciples were there in Acts chapter 1, como los discípulos estuvieron ahí en Hechos capítulo 1, they were in Jerusalem in one accord. Estaban en Jerusalén en un solo pensamiento. Today we are in one accord with you. Hoy día estamos todos reunidos en un solo pensar. The second matzah that we lift up, la segunda matzah que vamos a levantar, is a very interesting matzah. Es una matzah interesante. Because it says it's a matzah that's pierced. Es una matzah que debe ser perforada. It's a cake that has holes in it. Es un cake, un pastel que tiene huecos ahí. Okay. Why would a cake have holes in it? It is pointing to our Messiah. That those who serve Yeshua are those that serve the Lord. Then we have the third matzah. This is a matzah of joy. Because it's got olive oil in it. And the oil represents God's blessings. Blessings will start coming here. And I can attest to losing everything. I had a very beautiful home in America. When the Lord walked into my life, and He asked me to do His work, I had a three-floor house that was all mine. Beautiful home. The Lord had to tear it all down to bring it all back up. And He pours out the oil upon us. So this third matzah is knowing, Reuben, that God is going to pour out blessings not only on you, but on His grandchildren. Era en los nietos de Isaac. On her grandchildren. En los nietos de Susana. On all of your children. 
en todos tus hijos. On these little ones back here, en los pequeñitos de allá atrás. He's going to pour a blessing not only on you, él no va a poner bendición solo en ti, but on your families. En tus familias. If we offer up what God wants, si lo ofreces lo que el Señor quiere. The oil represents richness. El aceite representa riquezas. It's up there. Yes, ma'am. It represents fruitful land. Representa una tierra bien fructífera. How would you guys like to be feeding the world? ¿Cómo, cómo no te gustaría a ti alimentar al mundo? How would you like Colombia to be raised up to be the head of nations? ¿Cómo te gustaría que Colombia fuera la cabeza de las naciones? In things that are good. En las, en las cosas que sean buenas. It starts here today. Empieza hoy día. So we look once again at the three matzas. So empezamos con estas tres matzas. The matzah of affliction. The matzah de la aflicción. The matzah of Yeshua. The matzah de Yeshua. And the matzah of joy. Y la matzah de de regocijo. We go back to Exodus 29. Regresamos a Exodus 29. In verse 3. In el versículo 3. Would you read verse 3 again? We're going to have to put all this in a basket, Reuben. And we're going to lift it to the Lord. To show him that we have his offering. And then the leadership will eat of it. Because it's a consecration offering. You gotta put it in a basket. Okay, you gotta put it in a basket to show the Lord. Then we're also gonna do something else, Reuben. Now would you read verse four? Now, por favor, lee el versículo cuatro. Why not drink of water? You drink, read verse four. <laughs> After we're done presenting the teaching, I'm going to anoint you to be the pastor here at Beth Goyim in Colombia. Because we're not only just raising up Reuben, we're raising up a congregation. Beth Goyim, Colombia. Our Reuben will be your leader. Similar to what we've been already doing. We will consecrate him. I will wash your hands. See, when Yeshua at the last Passover meal washed the feet of the disciples, he was not being humble as the church teaches. What he was doing is raising them up to be rabbis. We're going to raise you up to be a messianic pastor because we don't know you're Jewish yet. We had raised up Pastor Ed to be a pastor. After much training. But recently his DNA test came back. And he found out that he's Jewish. So we call him Rabbi now. So right now we're going to call you pastor. Until maybe you do a DNA test. We're also going to give you verse 5. If you would read verse 5. El manto de Ephod, el Ephod, el, el pectoral, y le ceñirás con cinto de Ephod. We're going to give Pastor Ruben one of these. Vamos a darle al Pastor Ruben uno de estos. The mantle of leadership. El manto de liderazgo. 
coming from Israel to America, coming all the way to Colombia. A mantle of leadership. Because we're raising up a congregation. We're not raising up the temple just yet. So we're raising up a leader. And if you would read verse 7 now. <laughs> then we're going to anoint you. We're using frankincense and myrrh. Because that's what they brought to our Messiah. Frankincense and myrrh is for a king. Since you're a child of the king, we're going to anoint you the same way and raise you up. Then, we're going to put the food on the altar or the grill and we're going to offer it to the Lord. Would you read verse 18, por favor? We're going to offer that to the Lord. To show him that we will follow his commandments. Now, would you read versículo 20? Ahora, por favor, versículo 20. Y matarás el carnero y tomarás de su sangre y la pondrás sobre el lóbulo de la oreja derecha de Aarón, sobre el lóbulo de la, de la oreja de sus hijos, sobre el dedo pulgar de las manos derechas de ellos y sobre el dedo pulgar de los pies de Derechos, derechos, y la sobre el why were, why do we need to put them on these three parts of our body? We anoint your ear. Specifically the right ear. Because where does Yeshua sit? He sits at the right hand of the Father. So we anoint your right ear. If there's some blood from the offering. That you would understand. And hear the word of Yeshua. That his blood paid your price. We then will anoint your right thumb. Because the thumb goes right to your heart. And if your hands would be used, your hands would be used to feed the lambs, to work for the Lord. We will anoint your right foot. Why the foot? That you would walk the narrow path. Because broad is the road. But narrow is the way into heaven. And finally, after we wash your hands and feet, consecrate your ears, consecrate your hand, consecrate your foot, we will wave all these things before the Lord in accordance 
with what God has told us to do. En lo que el Señor está pidiendo que hagamos. Amen. Amen. Why don't we do this now? ¿Qué no hacemos esto ahora? Amen. Yes, let's bring the offerings. Y entregamos las ofrendas primero. To show everybody that we do have them. Para enseñar a todos que lo tenemos. Want to present to everybody? Quiero presentar a todos. We have here the matzah. Tenemos aquí la matzah. Uh, the cake. Oh, there's the cake. It's a big cake. Want to present to everybody? Presento a todos. Now we have the cake. Tenemos aquí el cake. The Pierce. Oh. <laughs> the Pierce cake. Want to present to everybody? We have the wafer. The blessings. Want to present to everybody? The two meats for the offering. Hold on I want to present to everybody that we have everything. Quiero presentarles a todos que tenemos precisamente todo. And we have all the pieces. Que tenemos, and we're putting them into the basket. Que tenemos todas las piezas las estamos colocando en las en la canasta. Mm -hmm. So the first part that we have to do. Así que la primera parte que, te, que debemos de hacer before we put the mantle of leadership on Reuben, antes de colocar el manto de liderazgo en Rubén some water to what? Agua. hay un orden y es el agua Water to wash the hands and the feet. Necesitamos algo para lavar sus manos y sus pies. We can't minister to the Lord with dirty hands and dirty feet. Porque no podemos ministrar al Señor con manos sucias y pies sucios. We consecrate Reuben's hands. Señor, estamos consagrando las manos de Reuben. That his hands would be clean before your eyes. Que sus manos sean limpias ante tus ojos. In the name of the Father. En el nombre del Padre. The Son. Del Hijo. And the Ruach Hakodesh. Y del Ruach Hakodesh. Amen. Oh, 
need to take your shoes off. Now. I'm gonna need a towel. No, wait, I see that. that the zapatos. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna do the issue around myself. Now. Yes. Both. Dice que voy a hacer como haciendo el, el, como Yeshua que le lavó los pies a sus discípulos. Before we can minister to the Lord, antes de, de servir al Señor, we need to wash Reuben's feet. Necesitamos lavar los pies de Reuben. Lord, we ask that you would consecrate these feet. Señor, te pedimos que consagres estos pies. To walk the narrow path. Que camine ese camino angosto. To lead the sheep to a good pasture. Para que lleve a, a sus ovejas a, a ese a esa buen pastor. Buen pastor. A buen pastor. A buen pastor. But most of all, pero más por más que todo, that you would lead the sheep. Te pedimos que él guíe a sus ovejas to the door of heaven. A las puertas del cielo. We're going to consecrate the feet. Vamos a consagrar los pies. In the name of the Father. En el nombre del Padre. The Son. Del Hijo. And the Ruach Hakodesh. Y del Ruach Hakodesh. I want to take your glasses off for this one. <laughs> We're going to do what happened to Aaron. As you see in the verse 7, we're going to anoint him his, his head with frankincense and myrrh. That it would run down his beard. Que va a correr por su barba. And his anointing y como está ungido, would not be from man, de no ser por hombre, but from God. Pero por Dios. And you would have a mind que that is holy. Una mente que sea santa. Need the towel back. Necesito la toalla para atrás. We're going to take a little bit of the blood. Vamos a coger un poco de la sangre. And we're going to do exactly like it says. Y vamos a hacer exacto lo que dice. Because if you want something to grow, porque si queremos que algo crezca. Do it the way God tells you to do it. de la manera que el Señor pide que hagamos. So we're going to take some of the blood. So vamos a coger un poco de sangre. And we're going to put it on his right ear. Vamos a poner en su oído derecho. Consecrate his ears, Lord. That's the big one. Consagrar sus oídos, Señor. That he would hear your word. Que escuche su su palabra. That he would hear your voice. Que escuche tu palabra. That he would not be tricked by the enemy. Que no sea tentado por el enemigo. We're going to put a little bit of the blood. Vamos a poner un poco de sangre. On his right finger, right thumb. En su dedo derecho. Right, right, sorry. Um, because you're left eye. I got to do the other side of his ear too. Ah, sí. That his hands would be. Que sus manos sean. The hands that work for God. Unas manos que trabajen para Dios. We're going to put it on his right big toe. Vamos a poner en su dedo derecho. That his feet would walk with you, Lord. Que sus pies caminen contigo, Señor. All the days of his life. Todos los días de su vida. And then finally. Y finalmente.
We're going to give you the mantle of leadership, Reuben. And consecrate you. Leader of Beth Goim. Messianic congregation. Colombia. In Colombia. Amen. 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 Certificate of ordination. El certificado de ordenación. Messianic pastor. The pastor messianico. Ruben. Ruben. Amen. 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 I present to you, Ruben. Y te presento a ti, Ruben. Messianic pastor, Ruben. Messianic pastor, Ruben. Both of these, I have to sign. I didn't sign them. I'm signing it in your presence. Estoy firmando en la presencia de todos. Give you the charter. Y para darte el cargo. Congregación Messianica Beth Goim, Bogota, Colombia. Congregación Messianica Beth Goim, Bogota, Colombia. Let's lift this to the Lord. Levantemos esto hasta el Señor. Lord. Señor. Jehovah Elohim. Jehová Elohim. We praise you and thank you. Te adoramos y te damos gracias. In accordance with your word, eh, de acuerdo con tu palabra, we wave this before you. Me hacemos esto ante ti. That you would consecrate this place. Que tú consagres este lugar. That your presence would live here. Que tu presencia viva aquí. That you would consecrate Messianic Pastor Reuben. Que tú consagraste al Pastor Messianico Reuben. As your servant here. Como tu siervo. And one last thing. I'm going to go outside. Voy a ir afuera. I'm going to consecrate the doorway. Voy a consagrar la puerta. That all that pass through this doorway would know that this place que sepa que este lugar is consecrated for God. Que está consagrado para Dios. Amen. 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 We consecrate this ground. Consagramos este tierra. Yeshua Hamashiach. We consecrate this ground for Beth Goim, Colombia. Consagre este lugar como Beth Goim, Colombia. Amen. Amen. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to The Remnant's Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M dot org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call.
you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and Biblical Holy Day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, Yeshua. Shalom.